Hey guys, so today's our last day here in the Sunshine Coast. So we're heading off tomorrow to Broad Beach, which is like further down near the Gold Coast Mall, which if you're not from Australia, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, we're just going down south a little bit more for the next week um, of the holiday. So yeah, so it's a little bit wet today as well. And the like the swell is really high so the waves are crazy at the moment so the beach is currently um i don't think it's closed yet but it's getting there but yeah i'm just gonna go make some breakfast and because it's our last day there's not a lot to eat in the fridge i might just make myself some leftovers there's a bit of like pumpkin tofu and some sam choy bao at the back that we made so i might just like mix all that together we'll see And this is just the tofu with some like, it's like marinated in some sweet chili sauce. It looks so good. Like literally if anything of this bowl like I'm making, this is the best of anything. Of all the things in the bowl that I'm making, this is 100% the best. And yes, this burn situation is not, not the best. I'm very much a like mix it all together person and hopefully it tastes good. All the things that I put in individually taste yum. So I always figure if I put them in all together, it'll taste extra yum. And there we have it, my masterpiece of a breakfast <laughs> of leftovers. A little wet out here. Oh, that's. That's some squelch. Whoa. Cute. Oh, I just scared the shit out of it. Sorry. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so lucky. Oh, crap. Look at the swell. Holy shit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really high. You'd get dunked no matter how low you went on those waves. So we're just about to go, or we actually are just going on a walk up to the lighthouse again. As you guys saw before, the swell is pretty big, pretty big. It's a little rough too. It's dumping all like the sand and everything, so you can just see it's really churning up. It's just churning up all the water and everything. And the tide is like all the way up, up against the bushland or like the shrubbery. So I decided not to go for a swim today. I might go in the pool later or something because it is a little warm like it's a nice temperature I have got like a long sleeve on probably a bit excessive I don't need long sleeves on oh he's so cute we saw a little baby bush turkey before I haven't been able to find him again though we saw him on the beginning of our trip it was so cute and little run, and now Ness. I can't oh look at her run run Ness. run forest run <laughs> You should have said that! You should have said that! I'm having time for that line! Because they were looking at me and I don't want to be that rude person. Not because you, I don't even know you. <laughs> what movie is that in? Princess Diaries. Oh yeah. This is so you should have been like jokes, it's a line from a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I swear our family just classically quotes movies all the time. That's what we live off. Literally. Who doesn't live off quoting movies? The water's pretty dirty from all like the rainwater we had last night. It rained pretty heavy so it's washed all the water in through the storm stormwater drains into the like ocean. You can see it's like kind of brown. Kind of brown all the way up to like where it actually opens up into the open ocean. So we just finished our walk before. Um, it wasn't too rough actually up along the uh, wharf. I actually thought it would be a lot more rockier or wavy. I think so waiting. Yeah, so we'd finished our walk. It wasn't as um, like wavy or like yeah, it just wasn't as rough as I thought it was going to be up near the wharf, but you could see like looking out onto the shoreline there were some cracking dumpers to, uh, to watch. We're now just heading over to that wellness cafe that I went to in a previous vlog. 
so we're just going to go over to that wellness vlog, that wellness <laughs> cafe. Em's going to do her red light therapy again, and I'm gonna go see if I can snag a smoothie or one of those cakes or something because they looked so good. Literally, they looked so so good last time. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Cake with cashew nut cream cream. <laughs> Let's just get a bit of aesthetics on this. Oh my god. Even though it's got gluten in it, I still want to try it just a smidgen. So it's vegan, it's just not gluten free, unfortunately. Oh my god! Yum! So that's the soy ice cream or something, and then it's soy whipped cream as well with the vegan gluten free brownie. So this is a protein power shake. It has like banana, mango, and some of the green stuff in it, but I can't remember what the ingredients are. Um, but they also have really good cute little like hemp seeds on top. So this is like all like the stuff that they sell here, like natural bath soap, salt soaks. They have like natural charcoal toothpaste and toothbrushes, like these bamboo brushes that are good for the environment. They come with that as well. Even like an alcohol free hand sanitizer, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, everything here is, is all natural because it's like this kind of what they promote here. Doggy cologne, interesting. <laughs> so they have all these like house cleaning things. So you've got your bathroom, your floor cleaner, and like a heavy duty kind of one. They're all like Enviro clean, so they're better for the environment. There's like a mosquito repellent up here, which is really cool. My favorite is this section though of the candles. Wow, this one smells amazing. Lavender and Lang Lang. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't like lemon. I don't like the citrus. Oh, these are cute, like, little single candles or something. This is what I was looking at the other day, and they have this amazing, and I'm talking about, like, next level amazing, like, chai spice thing. It's, like, vegan, gluten-free, but, oh, it tastes so good. This one's made from soy wax. So you guys actually want to be quite mindful about the candles that you are using in your home, just because they are, um, they actually emit quite a toxic fume from what's burning like some people put in uh like a fuel to kind of help the candle burn quicker and faster and ignite easier and it's not good for you to actually breathe in so like actual candles that i recommend that they're made from is soy wax uh beeswax and coconut wax or something like that those are like the three kind of ones that i recommend because they're the more natural ones they're not going to emit a toxic fume if they're made organic and like naturally just be more mindful about what you are exposing yourself to on the daily. Just something like a little bit of food for thought for you guys. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too much, I hope. Hey guys, so I can't remember what the last clip was. Sorry, my phone's dinging. I think we... I actually don't remember. Basically, all we did this afternoon was chill out. I did a bit of editing on the one of the vlogs I've filmed. And then we had dinner. We just had leftovers and stuff because we are leaving to drive down the coast tomorrow a little bit further and you don't really want to carry food with you in the car so we tried to like finish up as much as we could and then we watched a movie we watched the other woman <sighs> such a great movie i forgot how good it was and how funny it is oh and i did a bit of yoga this afternoon too which i forgot yeah i did a bit of yoga if you do want me to actually film like the like kind of exercise routines that i'm doing while i'm away let me know too because i'd be happy to do like a separate video completely dedicated to like dedicated I can't speak like completely dedicated to like my exercise routine when I'm away or like when I'm traveling so let me know otherwise guys thank you for sticking through to the end I love you all so much and I'll see you tomorrow Mwah. bye